Lounge. Okay, we on. Yo, what's up, man? Y'all know what it is. It's Playboy Monroy, man. Two Real for TV.com down here in San Diego with none other than San Diego's own. Yeah, that. Mitchie Slick. No introduction is really needed, but in case y'all been under rock some motherfucking well, Mitchie Slick is the premier number one hip hop artist out of San Diego right now. Really out the West Coast, if you ask me, but who the fuck asked me? Anyway, last night we did our thing with Meek Mills, Young Kind Records. I was supposed to be back in Vegas by now, Chicago and shit, but you know, these niggas are just so nice. I just hang out more, man, you know what I mean? Slick, man, tell them something, man. They don't know what's been up with you, nigga. All right, man, I've just been right here, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, trying to lay the foundation for this next big move, man. And, you know, motherfuckers be yes, man, and blowing, pumping, and blowing shit out, out of proportion, putting tins on shit. But really, a nigga been making some moves, man, because, man, these streets is rough on me, you know? Nigga can't be in these streets forever, man. Nigga gotta they, get can't, they can't be too rough when niggas buy GTCs, man. That's that Bentley with the drop top, man, in case y'all didn't know. Man, yeah, that's this man riding, man. That's the, he in the cockpit, you Basically, know what I'm saying? Man, it's rough, man. You it's see all these, paper, all, these paper, all these paper cuts, man. Yeah, <laughs> damn it. It's rough out here, man. Hey, man, tell us, man, how you come up with the name? How y'all get the name Wrong Kind? Well, wrong kind, homie. Oh, they came, came up together. on somebody's chain. I, I still ain't found out. I thought it was your chain. So. No, nah, here, go, here go my chain right here. I don't know who chain. There go mine right there. But uh, I guess they ain't worried about it. Anyway, wrong kind came together, man. You know, when I first got in the game, um, you know, I was I was I was thinking that we we had it made, homie. It was gonna be a, a, a easy road to victory. You know what I mean? Just based upon the fact that. We was the realest niggas, or at least that, you know, everybody everybody feel like that and shit. But me and my niggas was so authentic with the street shit to where I figured that's all we needed. You know what I mean? I seen 50 and Master P and them get on damn near strictly be, strictly off it out alone. You know what I mean? And when I was dealing with my nigga Sir Jinx, Sir Jinx used to say to me, homie, like, well, um, you got to do this this way. And I'd be like, we ain't got to do that. You know what I'm saying? We, we real. Niggas going to fuck with us for this. And he'd be like, well, you got to do that that way. And we just going back and forth all the time about what I need to do. And I figured just because I was a real nigga and everything we was doing was authentic that it was going to fly. But the thing was, was Jinx had to explain to me a lot of this industry shit ain't real shit. So when you bring some real, real shit and some niggas like, you know, like the niggas I had with me. I had real homies with me that really, really off the streets doing the real shit, homie. Everything we was talking about in the music is what was, was what was, you know, is what was being done. And I figured that was enough to get it. You know, 50 gets shot nine times, he on. You know what I mean? Right. But shit, man. Sir Jinx told me, man, listen, man, if you think that um you're going to get on just strictly based off of the fact that y'all the realest niggas, man, y'all the wrong kind of niggas for this shit. Hmm. <laughs> And it's stuck right there, you know what I mean? Wrong kind. Even though we doing this shit, even though we, you know, semi-successful at this shit, you know what I mean? We really ain't the type of niggas that's really doing this type of shit because most of the niggas that's doing the shit we grew up doing, they ain't here no more. I mean, they in jail, they dead, they somewhere up on the rock somewhere. Shout out to all my niggas that's locked down, you know what I'm saying? All the homies, you know what I'm saying? And when due time trying to feed their family and all that shit, you know what I'm saying, on a side note. But yeah, man, that that that's where it came from, homie. And it's stuck. Wrong kind of records. Wrong kind of niggas to fuck with. Wrong kind of niggas for this fake ass music industry. The best niggas don't make it in, in this in this game. You know what I mean? It ain't like football and shit like that. Dig that. You've been in a good decade now. Yeah, that. Maybe a little more. How do you feel about the ten years you spent dealing with this? Man, any I... regrets? Any wish you would have did a different? Any wish you could have did something else to make the same type of money or? Fuck the hate that to come with the shit, cause niggas hate on you, just not in your face. Listen, homie, this shit is a cold game, homie. I wish somebody would have told me what the road was gonna be like, cause this shit ain't promised to everybody. But everybody want to do this shit. There's not one occupation on earth that motherfuckers want to do more than be a rapper than, than be Tupac. You know what I mean? So if I'd have known back then when I began what I know now, I probably would have had a whole nother mindset on this shit, because. Man, this shit ain't just about how good you are. You know, this shit is about timing. This shit is about uh, jurisdiction. This shit is about politics. This shit is about all that shit. And for the last decade, which is basically when I started this shit, man, the West been on the bad end. It's been getting the short end of the stick. You know what I mean? Like, this, the, the, the game that went viral. Down South niggas got their own Tupacs now and the people they love and Snoop Dogs and shit. And so a lot of that, that, that money that was being brought to the West Coast because them, them places didn't have record companies or didn't have big artists, that money's not coming this way no more. You know, we on the West Coast. The majority of the, of the you know, shit, we, we a real minority out here. You know what I'm saying? Down South, you know, black folks is, 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 is shit, they thick, homie. 
But on the West Coast, man, it's mostly Hispanics on the West Coast, homie. You know what I mean? And so now we're having to share these fans that used to be all ours. From Texas, even even far over to the Midwest. You know, shit. You, you've seen the resemblance of our shit even like like in Bone and them. Even Easy reaching out over there. If from there all the way back, that was damn near West Coast as far as, you know, sales. But that ain't the case no more. Every every city got their own hero now. So, yeah, man, I wish... I wish I'd have knew what direction this was going to take, and I would have started off dedicating my time to some of this viral shit instead of thinking that I was going to make it just off the street shit. Because the street shit now, hmm. You talk like it's over. No, it's cracking. It's cracking like a motherfucker. But I'm saying we could have been 10 years ahead of where we at right now. We just got a new deal now, homie. I just got a new deal with SMC right now to where the, it's probably going to be bigger than it's ever been for me right now. I'm going to sell more records right now than I probably ever sold before. But what I'm saying is when I think of me, I think shit. As far as what I got in my camp, shit. I'm supposed to be worth 50 cent and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I can't say that based as a businessman because I don't know what that man knows as a businessman or who he got on his team. Or whatever, but all that's part of business. But he's a he's a he's a great businessman. But far as you know, what I represent, how I came in the game, the type of boss nigga that I am, shit, I look at success no no shorter than that. I look at why not, why not me? You know what I mean? Why yeah. I can't be that nigga? Fuck this shit, you know. Well, I mean, you got to think though, man. You got a fair shit. You was an LRG model. You been yeah, we you, did that. You, you didn't garner your respect from a person like Talib Kweli, who's arguably one of the best lyricists in the game even jay-z give them props yeah most definitely i mean so you got props from that you didn't tour it all over the country and out the country yeah that. so i mean really is there much to complain about nah nah it ain't a lot to complain about because it's a lot of niggas that's sitting home homie you know a lot of niggas that ain't even got their own and you drive a bentley gt so i mean gtc oh man you know man drop top bentley i mean i'm saying what they could really yeah, I mean, really, what could it be? The good thing? It but you always seem like you got an attitude, though. Oh, well, you know, shit. I'm from I just, South I, East I, I, was just a, I was just able I'm to watch a sit in on one of your rap school meetings. Right. You seem really upset. Oh, nah, nah, nah. I'm just, I'm just an authoritative motherfucker. You know what I mean? I just give out bars. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been a coach of my, uh, 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 I mean, I've been a uh, quarterback calling the play since I was seven years old. You In case y'all I mean? ain't seen it, go to History Channel, yeah, check that. out the gangland, and you know. This dude here. I've been I've been calling the play since I was a young nigga, but you know it's, I just come from an environment. You know a lot. It might seem a little hostile to my nigga Maroy, cause you know I get you know when it's a whole lot a lot whole lot of pain in the background. You know certain things be you know what I mean. But yeah. like with me where I come from, it's a whole lot of being. You know what I'm saying? The B come first. Where I'm, I'm from, I'm from Southeast San Diego. You know what I'm saying? So you have to like really understand, homie. Like I come from a from a hostile. I come from a, a neighborhood where your best friends beat the shit out you every day. You know what I mean? So now you know what's funny is that you and Gangsta E, shout yeah, out to Gangsta E, the nigga that got me down here, man. Yeah, that player for real. Yeah, that baby bro. First nigga with that turbo. <laughs> but, uh, he slid that up, that Panamera. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, turbo, that. that Lambo, and that motherfucking Bentley. Mm -hmm. But uh, baby, bro, I hear a lot of shit about y'all. Like I remember the first time I met you, I heard a lot of shit about you. But from the very first time we met, we got off pretty smooth. We Come kicked on, it. Any real nigga. So I don't see the bad guy that people talk about. Nah, because now you see a grown ass man now. But if you the same slick when he was a young nigga around here, I'd have probably had a problem. Then you probably wouldn't. No, you wouldn't have had no problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you's a you's a cool nigga. I try to be, but man. you know, yeah, you you a I cool get nigga. haters though, man. Cool I don't nigga. know why they come hate on, me. man. They gonna come. Why you think don't, they hate me? I'm gonna tell you straight why up. Why you like fuck this? with me and the haters don't because, fuck with me? Because they 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 want to be you, homie. It's a form of flattery, my nigga. When a nigga hating on you, that means he hates you and love you at the same time. Hey, you know what's so cold that you said that my nigga, my OG nigga Robert Money once told me. He said when a nigga hates you for no apparent reason, you can't figure it out. That mean they want to be like you. Come on, homie. That's what it is. And I never really seen that. I'm like, what you... Come on. They love you and hate you at the same time. The love part come in. If he didn't love something about you, he wouldn't even hate you. He likes something about you. You feel me? It's something you got that he won't. Now, now of course, now, oh, if, if a nigga got all kind of like faulty ass shit to go along with his record and his resume, then that's something else. You know what I mean? But we talking about if a nigga's a solid nigga, everybody know he a solid nigga. And nigga just just don't like it for no reason at all. Shit, then you know what I mean. He, he love you at the same time, homie. I deal with a lot of hate, though, player. Come on, man. That's you know what didn't happen on. over the past week. They, I didn't been dead and brought back from the dead, and I didn't been this and that and the other. But you are one of the very few niggas that stuck down by a nigga side and was solid and was like, even when I text you, I was like, man, I'm good. You was like, nah, nigga, 
I want to hear your voice. Yeah, I got to hear you, homie. I want to hear your voice. Yeah, I wasn't feeling that yeah, shit. I was like, man, I'm cool, man. I'm, I told my nigga, cool. this, the mo this the most I ever heard of a nigga was dead that wasn't dead in my whole history of this shit. It happened to E-40. Yeah, but I mean, it didn't, short, dog. Yeah, you was still skeptical. Motherfuckers was really acting like you was gone, my nigga. That fucked me up, homie. I don't know, man. Man, that wasn't cool, Y'all niggas need to be happy. I'm here. Yeah, that. I'm here, though. So what's next for Mitchie Slick? Wrong kind, young kind. Tell me about this wrong kind of niggas, man. Man, wrong kind. I like the little nigga, uh, Oso Ocean. Oso He's Ocean nice. is the hardest little nigga out here, man. I got another nigga by the name of Skywalker, homie. This, 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 this is my one-two punch right here. Then we got the homeboy to die, to die for, you know what I'm saying? We got a whole team of niggas. Wrong kind, we got, we got, man, I got a whole crew of real spitters. The homie Lil Fat Bat, the homie K Biz, he ain't home right now, but he'll be home in a minute. Culinary you know, Art School. Culinary Art School. I've been sending old CDs out with some of my DVDs. That's a rap mother, that's a rapping little motherfucker right there. Homie. You know, if you order the DVD package off 2RealTV.com, you might get a free CD. Yeah, so that. Order that, 2RealTV.com. Yeah, but anyways, homie, we just trying to show the young homies how to take this rap shit for real and to the next level and how to not just, you know, be wasting your time doing this shit. You know, it's more, it's more to being a, more to earning revenue off this rap shit than just writing hot lyrics, you know what I mean? They got to really be a people person. Nigga really got to be a motherfucker to know how to rock, rock live performances and all that type of shit. So well, I'm just sending my young niggas to school so, so they can keep the legacy popping, you know what I mean? Do the shit that, um, you know, and have this shit for their kids the same way I'm trying to set this shit up for my kids. This is what I do for my neighborhood. I don't pass out guns. I don't pass out dope. I pass out rap rap opportunities you know what i mean yeah last night was bonkers do. man last yeah, night they had the wrong kind was definitely in the fucking building it was yeah, a million of them niggas yeah that. and uh suge knight was in the building yeah shout out to your big homie suge whether y'all want to believe night. it or not suge knight still got some juice on this west coast man you know Shit, what i mean like a motherfucker yeah suge knight was in the building and uh it was super loud meek mills did his thing mm -hmm. you know but it was definitely a wrong kind of show yeah that Shout out, deep, to the homie, shout out to the homie Meek Mills, you know what I'm saying? Went over there and chopped it up with the homie. Shout out to all the Philly homies, homie Philly Swain too. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. We was in the house, homie. Good look, you know what I mean? Sometimes I don't really come out to these Dago shows because they be hot on the nigga, man. They try to blame a nigga for all everything that's going around this motherfucker. But we brought him out last night, you know what I'm saying? Anytime motherfucker want to find out who run the town, you know, shit. Come to a wrong kind function, homie. And don't don't put my name on the bill. It's going gonna, it's gonna to turn up, you know what I mean? All the way. Yeah, that. But we out here, homie. Glad to have the homie and shit last night. Glad to let him see what we do in the town. Let him know the real Dago. Let him see the real Dago. No disrespect to all the rest of the Dago niggas, but y'all know what the street code of Dago is, homie. So don't go around lying and acting like it's about whatever this is or that. No, y'all know that Southeast over there, that Southeast set the tone. You know what I mean? So respect that shit. All love the every, every other neighborhood, every other city in Dago, the Southeast set the tone for urban lifestyle in Dago. You know what I mean? So I believe respect that. that. After seeing what I saw last night, y'all yeah, catch that on my next DVD. Yeah, that. I definitely believe that because y'all move with a real big force. Yeah, that. And I've been to Dago a couple times with different people, and I've never seen motherfuckers move like that. I ain't going to lie. I've been all over this country, and I've yet to see anybody. Hmm move with that type of force yeah that was only like half force though on everything i love yeah that, that was, was only half force that ain't the real that ain't the real gorilla team that's just half force but anyway you know it ain't all about that we're trying to we're trying to shake hands kiss babies politics homie you know saying get some of these corporate and, shakes, man, and, and the wrong kind man they do stuff for the community man they got yeah, the trade today, Rob martin fact. uh march they got 1500 waters to give out to the people you know what I mean? It's out there marching for it, man. These people are totally active in the community. Most definitely. You gotta boy, take Mitchie Slick and the boy Gangsta, they, they paying a lot of light bills around this motherfucker. You got to take man. care of the community, man, uh, uh, of the community to turn on you, man. You know what I'm saying? I learned that, man, from a from a West Coast vet that I'm on. You know what I mean? But for real, though, yeah, we looking out, man. Fuck that, man. Can't no fucking police just be killing niggas just because they got on hoodies and right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what, that, that that ain't right, man. So we, we ain't never, we ain't, we ain't never going to sit down like that. I don't give a fuck. What? I don't give a fuck. We got to go rally somewhere about this shit, man. We, wrong kind is there, man. You know what I'm saying? Power to the people. Get that. Power to the goddamn people, man. 2RiverTV.com, man. Y'all can catch Mitchie Slick on a couple of my uh, videos. What do you think about the Cross Country Pivot, man? You know, I I'm getting a lot of slack lately, man. Is that right? You getting a lot, a lot of flack on it? A lot of haters is hating and shit. I mean, the sales is up like a motherfucker. Don't get me wrong. But, you I know. I say, um. I you say, can catch um, Mitchie Slick on uh, Volume 3. Yeah, but you know, you know, you know, you. You got me on that one, Maroy. Yeah, he didn't want to be on it. You know, I don't, I don't. But I, don't, I fucks with him, and I just had some footage, and I yeah, thought that. he was funny, so I slid it in there. Yeah, that nigga caught me coming out the club. We had a nice bottle medley that show. night. 
we busted some bottles down that night and came out the club and man you know all the truth starts you know somebody had the nerve to say that i portrayed him wrong in the movie now i put you on the movie just as a friend yeah just catching you out of the club yeah how do you feel about your portrayal in the movie Shit, well you know i think i think it was great because it, it wasn't overexposed and nothing you know what i mean it was just us doing shit everyday shit on the so just i wasn't tripping but still though, i don't be doing shit that i don't want motherfuckers to you know really really twist up with me anyway but i done been in them same type of situations you know what i'm saying but not with you but when with other publications with big publications especially on that gangland shit they fuck that shit all up see that's a different situation when a motherfucker take imagery and put your words take imagery and put your words and place your words around the shit and pictures of you and images around the shit that's a, that's a whole different situation but i i don't know homie i mean i i i, I don't know homie i don't i, I can't even speak on, on you feel that. like the gangland show wasn't a good account that was of you? fucked up that was some fucked up shit homie how they played that shit i took them to my neighborhood homie and showed them where you know what i'm saying we declared a, a, a part of my community as a um safe haven for kids from all over to come learn and all that shit i took them showing me helping our other members of the community get on, you know what I'm saying, as far as, you know, with the music shit or whatever the fuck, they didn't show none of that, man. They made me look as as crazy and off the chain as they possibly can make me look in, in that movie, even though I didn't show them that, and even though I didn't show them any type of gang activity activity or anything, I showed them what people from my community do as far as with music. Maybe some of the things I've been through that happened to me, you know what I mean, and what we're doing now. And they took that and took pictures of me and put that shit right in the midst of all these dead people and shootings and police and dope and money and flash that shit up on the screen with me placed in between it and made it look like I was insinuating things that I wasn't even speaking upon. You know what I mean? So fuck that shit. Fuck gangland and we're going to go to the next shit. I don't want to talk about that shit no more. And um, Real quick though, the name of the shit was gangland. But yeah, yeah, but at the same time, the name of the shit gangland. There's plenty of motherfuckers that been on gangland, but didn't nobody say okay if you talk on here we're gonna make you the king blood in your whole city and show that you a nigga and make you look like you the nigga shooting that nigga yeah gangland could be what niggas niggas go to school in gangland niggas from gangland go to go play for the pros and shit and niggas in gangland do shit for the community all that type of shit you know what i mean but they didn't show none of that shit they uh -huh. didn't show the true me they showed pictures of me and placed it around fucked up shit that happened in my neighborhood without even taking any consideration whatsoever of the who I am right now. So that ain't real. Right. You know what I mean? I can dig that. If they would have took what I gave them and put it on gangland, I wouldn't have had no problem with it. Because I was on there speaking for my niggas, G. I was on there talking about the injustices and how me and my niggas, how you may think, like say for instance, the police to see a young nigga taking off running when, when, the, when he see him. And they automatically, and they, they mind, suggest that that nigga's doing something wrong. How come that nigga ain't running? Because he want to be to school on time, and he just seen his brother get his ass beat by the police yesterday. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this is the shit I was talking about on Gangland. So I don't give a fuck what the name of the show was. This is the shit I was saying on Gangland. But this ain't what they showed on Gangland. I can't blame nobody. I was there. I got to blame myself for that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Now... If we'd have been prepped on doing this, because I've been trying to take my role as a speaker for my niggas, if I'd have been prepped on doing this shit, which is something that niggas in gangs don't do, you know, we niggas don't speak for the people in, in public arenas and, and, and on national television and shit like that. So I was, I was a crash test dummy for that type of shit for my neighborhood, you know what I mean? But I learned. Now the next nigga might be able to get it off, but he ain't going to get it off because of just on, 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 on the strength, he gonna learn now and so when he get his opportunity to speak up and talk for us, he gonna know, okay, Mitch went through that shit, I know what not to do now. So it ain't all negative shit, you know what I'm saying? Some came for it, I take the fall for my neighborhood, I take the sacrifice, niggas can say whatever the fuck they wanna say, but for sure, niggas didn't hear me saying nothing and disclosing no type of top secret information or none of that shit on the motherfucking show. Go watch that shit, nigga. Yeah, it's called Gangland, but you know, fuck Gangland. What was the name of your episode? Uh, what was it called? Uh, I don't. I didn't know. I didn't know till they put it up. Gangland, Mitch Slick, San Diego. Vendetta. The blood. Blood some, Vendetta. Some shit like blood that. Blood Vendetta. Y'all be checking that, that out. That They made the fucking TV show. I told them specifically. We not gonna talk about this issue. The issue that. The, the, the issue that they that, that I told them don't talk about is what they named the goddamn episode after. That's the whole shit about the. That's what the whole shit was about. The shit that I didn't talk about at all is what they made the whole shit about. 
and put my face around this shit like I'm an advocate of this shit or something like that. But fuck it. It's Lincoln. You know what I'm saying? But fuck gang and let's 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 keep on going. I don't want to keep talking about How you deal with the haters, man? You know, a lot of people be thinking they ready to be a celebrity. They ready to be a star. Like, I was just watching on the news. Like, some bitch threw some powder all on Kim Kardashian's head. I mean, shit like that. Like, how do you... I'm sure motherfuckers ain't running up throwing powder on your head and shit. But just the hate in general, man. How do you deal with that shit? Because motherfuckers wouldn't want to deal with that. Like, I how to deal with it on the regular. I ain't dealing with it. You act like I got the answers and everything. I, every time somebody hate or do something fucked up. I ain't dealing. That shit. That shit. Have fuck you up. That shit. Have circum you. That shit. Have changed what your friends and your family think about you. That shit. Have make niggas in jail think certain shit about you that ain't true. Like, but at the same time, you kind of like, kind of not, not, not. You kind of can't let that shit just consume your whole shit because if you do that, you most definitely gonna be spending more time trying to fix some shit than you is actually getting ahead because there's no way. That you can stop all the hater niggas when you doing something that's not average. When you do like like I say all the time, Maroy, niggas is nig nig niggas niggas ain't been around some big rim hate. Niggas ain't been around some uh uh some I got a six pack bitches think I look cute hate. Yeah, that, that that's regular hate. I I'm a star football player hate. Yeah, that's regular hate. But the hate that come from this nigga just like me, and he made it doing something that I know I could do, and every nigga think he can do that. Every nigga don't think he could play in the pros. Every nigga don't think he's smart enough to be a doctor, but every nigga think they're good enough to rap. Every nigga think they're good enough to rap. Every every nigga think, oh, I could be a rapper. I'll make a DVD. I could make a DVD. I could be. A, I could shoot videos. Yeah. Everybody think that shit. You know what I mean? So so when you in a situation like that. Homie, you got to deal with so much hate to where all that, you know, you hear a nigga say, oh, nigga, ain't no nigga, I ain't never let a nigga say fuck me before. Yeah, nigga, the, you, you got the fuck yous from the amount of people that say fuck you because you got a candy paint on your car. The, 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 the hate I'm talking about, where a nigga think you really rich and you really straight and your family's okay, nigga, it'll be a hundred niggas in one day saying fuck you. You can't fade all them niggas. Can't fade everybody. Can't fade everybody, homie. Mm -mm. So, you know, you just got to push, homie. You know, that's how I go. You just got to push, homie. But, you know, on some gangster shit, you can't let you can't let everything slide, though. I got a nigga I want to fuck up. You know what I'm saying? It says some slick shit about me. One of the only niggas ever dissed me on record. On only, record? Yeah. Yeah. But if a nigga diss you on record, you don't want to beat up everybody that diss you on record? <coughs> but see... I mean, what if 50 Cent, I mean, I ain't saying 50 Cent, but you know, what if any rapper or somebody just dissed you yeah, on record? Yeah, just but, it's, don't but it's, one thing, it's one thing when a nigga talking about you saying certain shit, but when a nigga really talking like he, like he really think he really can handle whatever wrath come from whatever, okay, then, then, then I just want you to prove it. I didn't say I'm Mr. Slick, you're a grown man. Like, yeah, that's right, and I'm going to fuck that nigga up. <laughs> hey, this is just entertainment. He's not going to. Fuck anybody up. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's just certain shit that, you know what I'm saying, this real nigga shit, though. You know what I mean? Like I told you, man, nigga got to keep it gangster. That's what I want everybody to start doing, too. Keep it gangster, though. I ain't saying you got to be no tough-ass nigga, but keep it gangster. Just keeping it real. Keep it gangster. Respect all the laws that go along with being a nigga. Like, like, keep it gangster mean, like, okay, every nigga can go to jail, every nigga can get in trouble and be behind them walls. Okay, any nigga, any pimp nigga, any go to get manicures every week ass nigga can go to jail tomorrow. You know, just like I know, nigga, when you go to jail, nigga, you get behind them walls and it's all niggas, you know. Every nigga gonna try to keep it gangster though, because you're gonna have to. And that's the realest nigga shit at that point. Keep it gangster though. Don't be doing no bitch shit. Don't be over here uh, letting out none of them tendencies you got from your all female, you know, you know, household and shit. Niggas got to keep it gangster, homie. You know what I mean? Niggas can't be getting all personal about shit. Niggas got to separate business from personal. You know, just because a nigga don't like your music don't mean a nigga don't like you personally. Just because you, just because a nigga don't like your beats don't mean you can't be this nigga homeboy. You know what I mean? Just because a nigga is your homeboy don't mean he got to be on your album. Niggas just got to play their role, homie. You know what I mean? And fuck the haters and just keep pushing, homie. You know what I mean? That's what I'm on. I don't give a fuck. And then when a nigga get out of line, you got to go fuck a nigga up too, though. You know what I mean? Get that. And that's too real for TV. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Hey, man, so the message of today is keep it gangster. Mitchie Slick, 
Too real for TV.com. Keep it pimping too, though. Ah. Keep it pimping. Yeah, that. Cheers.